Hey, what's up guys? John here. I'm going to share an email I just received from my eviction attorney, one of my eviction attorneys in Los Angeles, California, kind of sharing and highlighting what's going on inside of LA County. You might not be you know, located in LA, you might not even own property there, but it's important to understand what's going on in places like LA because what happens in LA goes to New York, Chicago, Boston, Atlanta, you know, it goes everywhere, right? And so we have to really pay close attention, especially you know, on this channel, I talk about personal finance, real estate, business, money, and investing. And I made probably 90% of my money investing. So you know, I'm going to share with you what's going on because in 2021, when I said the eviction moratorium was going to continue, it's going to go back. I know they said it was canceled. I said it was going to go back and I said the economy was going to start going through a shaky period. Um, you know, a buyer that wanted to buy the property said the opposite. And so we, we made the exchange and now look at what's happening. And take a look at this. This is pretty crazy. Please hit the like button. Hit the like button. YouTube is going to share this content to educate more people that want to invest in real estate, especially in places like Los Angeles. I'm actually probably going to be a buyer in Los Angeles, but not now, not probably next year. I'm going to wait until there's real blood in the streets and I'll probably go out there and pick up some deals. Because at the end of the day, if you could buy a $100,000 Ferrari for 20 grand, would you buy it? Sure. Right. And that's, you'd find the money, you would get it done. The same would be true for any, you know, mansion in Los Angeles or any beautiful property or anything. If, you, if the deal made sense and the numbers made sense, then it makes sense, right? And so what I think is gonna happen is there's gonna be so many property owners that are gonna buckle, that are gonna have to sell their deals, whether it be, uh, whatever it may be, they're gonna have to sell, they're gonna have to get up underneath these properties. And if you uh, have a good business model, you have the cash reserves, you have a game plan, you have a strategy, you're gonna make money. Take a look at this though, this is absolutely crazy. This came out an hour ago, 12.21 p.m., uh, everyone's probably heard of this guy, Dennis Block. I mean, he's done like 200,000 evictions. He's represented me uh, on multiple occasions. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's well known to say the least, right? And so uh, LA city ending the moratorium, right? Read this, this is absolutely crazy. And you know, before I even dive into this, I said that there was no way they're gonna pay landlords back. There's no way. Everyone said, oh no, you're wrong. Well. May 10th, 2021, Governor Newsom announced his plan to pay rental housing providers 100% of rent owed. Governor Newsom on Monday announced his intent to pay rental housing providers 100% of the rent owed by tenants who qualify for rental assistance. This is certainly welcome news and we applaud Governor Newsom for his commitment to making rental providers whole, right? Said Tom Bannon, the CEO of CAA. Many of our members have provided housing for more than a year. This came out in 2021. Uh, you know, so this came out now it's like almost approaching three years. Uh, without compensation, we thank the governor for understanding the difficulties that both tenants and rental property owners have endured during the pandemic. At a press conference Monday morning, Newsom announced that California will receive an additional $2.6 billion in rental assistance from the federal government that brings California's total federal rental aid to $5.2 billion. Newsom also announced his plan to spend $2 billion from state gov general fund to pay past owed water and utility bills. The governor said he intends to use the new funds to pay rental housing providers all rental arrears attributable to the pandemic, both retroactively and going forward. Until now, the governor of the legislature committed to paying landlords 80% of what they owed by qualifying the with impacted renters. Although this has only covered back rent owed between April 2020 and March of 2021. To qualify for assistance, tenants must earn less than 80% of the area median income to have lost employment within the 90 days. Now here's what the email said, because this is, this is absolutely crazy. This says so much. Uh, the city of Los Angeles moratorium is set to expire February 2023. 20, now, do I think it's gonna expire? I would bet that it's gonna continue, right? That's my bet. We will see. We're stepping into winter. There could be uncertain times. Maybe it does expire, um, but it would not surprise me because it's been over three, it'll be three years, right? March, February, March. I mean, it's been, it'll be one month shy of three years. So uh, the unlawful assault on income property owners is set to expire on February 1st, 2023. Under the current moratorium, tenants are given a free ride on all rent owed for the period of March 1st, 2020 through January 31st, 2023. So this totals, excuse me, 35 months that landlords had to be without income for any tenant who claimed the inability to pay rent due to this. Clearly the city was sanctioning fraud to be perpetuated on income property owners, it is estimated that 95% of tenants claiming protection for portions of this period did not qualify. The tenants have no obligation to show proof of 
being financially impacted by this, and landlords were threatened with harassment lawsuits over, under the provisions of this moratorium. Effective February 1st, 2023, landlords will be able to enforce their property rights of all rents owed commencing the date. Rents owed for the previous 35 months are deferred until February 1st of 2024. At that time, you will be able to file a civil or small claims court. Be advised that eviction actions are able to proceed at this time for all other violations of the rental agreement. Evictions can now proceed for other parts of Los Angeles County and other counties. Please check with the office for further details. So. February 1st, 2024. You think about this, there's 700, uh, you know, three, four months ago, it was about 700,000 tenants in LA County behind on rent. How many judges are in LA County, right? That's the big question. How many judges are there to service and get in front of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of cases? I would imagine that this is gonna take a very long time for everyone to get in front of a judge and, and to go through due process. I would bet that it might take six months. It might take a year. Who knows how long it could take, right? And due to all this, you're gonna ultimately, if you're a landlord and you have a tenant that is you know, maybe behind on rent, if you were to collect a judgment, anything over ten thousand dollars, no longer small claims court, so you would hire an attorney. You know, for example, this law firm or any law firm. This is not sponsored, by the way. Um, this law firm or any law firm, right? And then ultimately, what would happen is you'd pay three to four or five hundred bucks an hour, and you know it's expensive. Like I've had a situation, even with this firm, it cost me, you know tens of thousands of dollars to go through uh, the entire process because it gets dragged out and things just take a lot longer than expected. Uh, there's court fees. It's just like one thing adds up after the next. But if you're a tenant, you get free representation. You know, you get BASTA or public counsel, they'll come represent you for free. Uh, so what's ultimately gonna happen? Are these landlords gonna be made whole February 1st, 2024? I personally believe that a judgment is only as good as one's ability to collect on it. And if you are going after a tenant that has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, $100,000 in past due rent, and that tenant's making $50,000 a year, and they're sitting on $20,000 in credit card debt, they don't have any money, you're not gonna get any money. You're just basically throwing good money after bad. And so it's just pretty crazy to me to witness uh, how fast this actually got carried away. But again, I think the rules are being rewritten right now for landlords in Los Angeles. And I think that the smart landlord they are not diving in right now in the LA County. They're gonna to wait to see what's gonna happen because they're gonna make more and more and more revisions to the landlord-tenant law in LA County. And if you wanna be a value-add multifamily investor in Los Angeles, if you wanna do certain things, you might wanna to wait to see exactly how these laws play out. That's why I'm also waiting until probably late 2023 or 2024 to see what laws happen, what, how this all plays out, and to really wait for all the blood to hit the street. And then at that point, when I have all the information, then I am in a position to make a smart and informed decision. Uh, as of right now, I'm just sitting on the sidelines watching this bloodbath that they call Los Angeles real estate unfold in front of our very eyes. Absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy. 35 months, no rent owed. 35 months, no rent owed. Can you imagine if you were to tell someone, oh yeah, this would happen. You said this to somebody in 2018. Yeah, this is gonna happen. There's gonna be three years where you don't have to pay rent three years. People would say you're crazy. There's no way. But as of now, it's still in effect. I wonder if it will get extended. We have the winter coming. Anything can happen. Curious as to what you think could happen. Drop your comments below. Hit the like button. Subscribe and subscribe to my second channel, Interactive Call-In Show on a podcast. Uh, if you're interested in real estate and uh, multifamily investing, be sure to go over there and subscribe. If you need help fixing your credit, you want to invest in multifamily real estate, you know, two to four unit properties, buy your first house or condo, but you need great credit. Maybe you have an auto loan you want to refinance or uh, you're in a, a certain situation, your credit's holding you down. We'd love to help you with cashnow.video. Go to cashnow.video, uh, fill out the online form, take two seconds and you'll get a free consultation. Uh, see if we can help you or you can call us at 561-430-5900. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video.